Hello friends, and welcome to a 30-minute flow class. Uh, if you enjoy this class, feel free to make a donation to my wonderful teachers at Karma Teachers. I'll have the link below and explain how you can make a donation. Uh, every dollar that you send them goes to raising money for scholarships for yoga teacher training. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and enjoy this flow. Here we go. So come to the top of your mat and find Tadasana, mountain pose. So spreading your toes wide, feet could be hip distance apart. Tuck your tail, micro bend in your knees, collarbones wide, shoulder blades down your back. Engage your core and grow your spine nice and tall. And start to breathe, filling up your lungs completely. So start with your belly. Move to your rib cage and then the top of your collarbones. Squeezing all that air out. My cat Ralph will probably join us. He enjoys yoga too. Finding your balance, finding that space in your toes and your feet, feeling strong in your mountain. Full big breaths, knowing you can always come back to your breath during the practice. One more. Inhale and exhale. Squeezing all that air out, squeeze your belly button towards your spine, collarbones down, and inhale your arms up, reach up, look up, just adding a little movement, exhale, release your arms out to the sides, finding your feet, inhale, full big breaths, using your arms to help fill up your lungs, exhale, one more like this, big inhale, and exhale your hands to heart center. Inhale, bend your knees as much as you need to, reach up, look up, and exhale over to the left hand side. So keeping your feet firmly planted in the ground, pushing your right hip away from you, stretching out with your fingertips, pushing your hips away, opening up your chest, stacking your shoulders. So Keeping your shoulders in alignment, you're not rolling forward, we're opening here, keep breathing, big full breath, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, and then exhale, come back up to neutral, one resetting breath here, engage your core, reach up, big full breath, right to the very top, and then exhale over to the other side, so keeping your chest open, Finding a nice side body stretch, keeping your feet firmly planted in the ground. If it's too much to look up on your armpit, you can keep your head neutral. Keep breathing here, two more big full breaths. So reaching out with your fingertips. It's almost like a big line of energy from the outside edge of my left foot all the way to my fingertips. One more breath. And then exhale, come back up to neutral. Inhale, reach up, little micro back bend. So look up, pushing your hips forward just in a little, little tiny bit. Exhale, come back to neutral. Bring your hands to heart center. So let's start with a little movement in forward fold. So inhale, your arms up, reach up, engage your core. Exhale, folding forward. Hips come up towards the ceiling, chest towards your knees. And inhale, plant your feet firmly, bend your knees as much as you need to, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, find your ground, find your foundation. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, finding the earth. So inhale, your arms up. Big breath, exhale, folding forward. Right to the ground. Inhale, place your hands on your shin, lengthen your spine, engage your core, collarbones away from your ears, nice long straight spine, hips coming up towards the ceiling, feet firmly planted in the earth, and then exhale, folding forward, releasing all that air, inhale, 
bend your knees as much as you need to, reaching out right from your shoulder blades, not the tops of your shoulders. And exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, your arms up, look up, reach up. Exhale, folding forward. All that air out. Inhale, flatten out your spine, tuck your chin, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, straight spine, bring your chest towards your knee. And inhale, come all the way back up to standing. And bring your hands to our center on the exhale. So from here, we're going to spread your toes wide, tuck your tail, and then sit down into Utkatasana or chair pose. So keeping your chest open, look down towards your toes, make sure your knees are behind your toes. Open your chest, tuck your tail, and take a big breath in. And then exhale, we're going to start to twist. So hooking your left elbow on your right knee, keeping your knees in alignment, so not letting one come in front of the other. Sit your butt down, inhale, lengthen your spine, using your hands as leverage, and then start to twist. So we're twisting from our torso to your shoulders, and then your neck if it's available. Again, if something doesn't feel good, just come out of the pose. So keep breathing. You can always come back to Tadasana or find child's pose. It's up to you. So engaging your core here, sitting your butt down, lengthening your spine, opening your chest. One more big breath. And then let's slowly unravel here. So we're just getting warmed up. So slowly look down, release your hands, and just dangle here for a minute. Keeping your knees bent and just rock gently side to side, making little figure eights with your elbows. Tuck your chin, relax your shoulders, relax your jaw, keep breathing, don't hold your breath, so big breaths here still. And let it all go, release your hands, and then slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, slowly, slowly, right to the top, finding mountain. For a breath. Inhale your arms up overhead. And then exhale, hands to our center and sit your butt down into Utkatasana. So open your chest, collarbones wide. Shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, start to twist. So again, mindful of your knees. Sitting back. Hips down. Inhale, lengthening out of your torso. And then exhale, using your hands as leverage, stacking your shoulders, start to twist. Take three breaths here, and exhale all that air out. Inhale, lengthening your spine, finding space, exhale, twist. Inhale, and then exhale, start to unravel. Look down, release your hands, release your arms. Bend your knees and then roll up one vertebrae at a time. Back to Tadasana. Take a reset breath here. Big breath, finding ground. And then come to the top of your mat if you're not already there. Everybody should be pretty warmed up. So spread your toes wide. Finding your foundation. Engage your core. Engage your spine to open your chest. Nice long spine. And inhale your arms up, reach up, look up. Exhale, folding forward from the hips. Come right to the ground as far as you can. Inhale, lengthen, straighten out your spine. Exhale, fold, plant your hands beside your feet and step back into push up position. From here, you can lower to your knees, your belly, your chest. Pin your elbows, plant the tops of your toes, and inhale to baby cobra. Exhale, roll your toes under, push back into downward facing dog. And pedal out your feet. First dog of the day, we're just getting warmed up. Don't hold your breath here, keep breathing, big breaths, filling up your lungs, opening up your back body, pushing the front of your mat away from you with the heels of your hands, not dumping right into your wrist, putting some weight in your fingertips. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Come up on your tiptoes. Frame your head with your biceps. 
And then slowly lower your heels to the earth. Take this part out as they'll go for you. Engage your belly button in towards your spine. Lengthen, lengthen here. Inhale, filling up your back body. And exhale, let it all go. One more breath like that. And then look towards your hands. Step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, folding forward. And inhale, bend your knees as much as you need to. Come on, back up, reach up, look up. And exhale, exhale all that air out, hands to heart center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, your arms up. Look up, reach up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Engage your core here. Exhale, plant your hands on either side of your feet. Step back into plank. Lower down to your belly. Keep your elbows pinned in. Plant the tops of your toes. And come to baby cobra. Rotate your toes under, push back into downward facing dog. And inhale your left foot up. And plant your left foot between your hands. Lower your right knee to the ground. Plant the top of your right toes on the ground. So make sure your left knee is stacked above your left ankle. Spread your front toes wide, squaring off our hips. My right hip is pushing towards the earth. Open your collarbones, lengthen your spine. Take a big breath here, exhale. On your next inhale, bring your arms up. Again, shoulder blades down your back. I'm pushing my back toes strongly into the earth. I'm internally rotating my thighs towards each other. My knees not rolling out. Inhale and exhale. One more breath here. Little micro bend if you want, reach up, look up, look back, and exhale, coming forward. Plant your hands on either side of your foot. Step back into downward facing dog. Look towards your hands, bend your knees as much as you need to. Step, hop, or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, folding forward. Big breath all the way up, filling up your lungs right to the very top of your collarbones. Big inhale. And exhale, hands to heart center. Do that on the other side. Inhale, your arms up, reach up, look up. Exhale, folding forward, firmly planting your feet so we're not shifting our weight here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step, hop, or jump back to plank. Lower down to your belly, keeping your elbows pinned, tops of your feet into the earth. And come up to baby cobra. Shift shoulders down away from your ears. And exhale, roll your toes under, push into downward facing dog. Inhale, your right foot up. Bring your right foot between your hands, setting up for runner's lunge on this side. So planting your left knee in the ground, tops of your left foot spread in the earth, stacking your right knee over your right ankle, spread your right toes wide, finding your balance. Inhale, lengthen your spine, collarbones wide, and exhale, finding your ground. Next inhale, come up, squaring off your hips, pushing your left hip forward, internally rotating your thighs towards each other. Keep breathing, filling up your lungs completely. One more breath here. One more. And then exhale, coming forward, engaging your core. Mindful, mindful. Roll your toes under. Step back to down or facing dog. Exhale all that air out. Look towards your hands. Step hop or jump to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthening your spine, tuck your chin. Exhale, folding forward. And then big inhale, come all the way back up to standing. Inhale, 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 let go. Come to heart center and breathe. So inhale, your arms up, reach up, look up. 
Engaging your core, long round spine, exhale, folding forward. Pull that air up. Inhale, flat back, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step hop, jump back to the plank position. Lower down to your belly or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra baby, cobra, upward dog. Exhale, roll back into downward facing dog. Inhale, your left foot up. Bring your left knee to nose. Exhale, stretch out your left leg. Left knee to left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend. And then meet your feet, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, come to child's pose. Keep your hands firmly planted in the top of your mat so this is still an active position. Think about your fingers. So spread your fingers really, really wide, especially when we're in downward facing dog. We want to protect our wrists. So wide fingers and make little suction cups with the tops of your fingertips. One more inhale and exhale, feeling up your back body. Come back to tabletop, roll your toes. And having that nice, strong hand position, come back into downward facing dog. Inhale your right foot up. Bring your right knee to nose. Exhale. Inhale, stretching out your right leg. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, reaching out behind you. And the right knee to right elbow. Inhale, big reach up. And then exhale, plant both feet. And let's come toward, forward in plank position and hold plank. So when we're in plank, Keep your collarbones wide, your shoulder blades down your back. I'm pushing my heels away from me, gauging my core here. Take a couple breaths. One more. And then I'm going to bring my left hand in a couple of inches and roll over into side plank on the left hand side. If it's available to you, look up, reach up. Take a couple breaths here. And I'm going to come over onto. Plank again, reset, move my right hand in, and then come to side plank on the right hand side. Stacking my shoulders, reaching up, keeping a nice strong core here. And then exhale, look down. And then come to my knees and push back into child's pose. Letting my forehead rest on my mat, spreading my fingers wide. Pushing my fingertips into the mat. The tops of my feet are engaged, pushing into the mat. My belly button squeezing towards my spine. Filling up my back body with big breaths, exhaling all that air out. One more like that. And exhale, come back to tabletop position. So from here, we're going to extend our left foot, keeping our hips square. And then bring our right hand straight out. Take a breath here. And then we're going to bend our left knee and reach back towards our left foot with our right hand. So then we're going to open up our chest. So open. So I'm pushing into my hand with my foot. I'm keeping my hips square. Right? My hips and the spine is long. One more breath here, and then slowly release. Back to a nice long spine, flex my foot so my heels push away, and then exhale, plant my knee in my hand, and take a reset breath here. I'm gonna extend my right foot up behind me, reaching it right out, keeping my collarbones wide, my jaws relaxed, my extending my left hand, take a breath here, nice long, long, long spine, Long line from my fingertips to my heel. And then exhale. I'm going to grab my right foot with my left hand. And then inhale. I'm going to open. So I'm stretching my quad. I'm stretching my side body. Nice long spine. Inhale and exhale. 
planting my back foot firmly in there to help me with my balance. One more breath. And then exhale, release. So one more long line, pushing out, tuck my chin. And then exhale, plant your hands, plant your knees. Inhale, let's look up, tail up. And exhale, roll your spine, tuck your chin. Do that two more times. So inhale, collarbones wide, plant the tops of your feet firmly in the earth. Exhale, belly button towards your spine, tucking everything in. One more breath, open. Think of the ocean, you're like a big wave. And exhale, one more tuck. And then tuck your toes under. Maybe just take a little pressure off your wrists. Bring them up one, more, one or two times. Create those little suction cups with your fingers. And then push up into downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. So finding a nice, relaxing dog. It's supposed to be a restoration pose, right? So inhale and exhale. Your hips are wide and tall. Your collarbones relaxed, your shoulder blades relaxed, your jaws relaxed. Inhale, your core is engaged, right? Just feel a nice stretch in your calf muscles. One more breath here, and then start to walk your hands towards your feet. So again, bend your legs as much as you need to, rest your torso on your thighs. Take a couple breaths here, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, let's come to Utkatasana. So sitting down, reaching up, tucking your chin, collarbones wide, shoulder blades down your back, chest is open, filling up your lungs, deep breathing. One more breath here. And then exhale, come to a standing position, let your arms come to your sides. And then let's step our feet about a two feet wide, feet are about a 45 degree angle, we're going to come into a squat position. So bending your knees, come down so your tail is towards the earth, use your elbows as leverage, put some pressure inside your knees, right, not on your knees, but just to open up your groin. So inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, Finding the earth, so spreading your toes wide, relaxing your jaw, relaxing your neck, right? Make some little micro movements, engage your core, so long spine, pushing your tail down, top of your head up. Deep breathing, don't hold your breath, filling up your lungs, big breaths. One more breath here. And then exhale, start to release. So hands come towards the earth. Start to push your butt up. And then pigeon toe your feet in towards one another. Still there, but hip distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthening right out from your spine. Let's spread our toes wide here. And just stay here for a minute. So nice long spine, engaging your core. And then reach your hands straight. So we're going to an L position. So it might, you might think this is an easy pose, it's actually pretty challenging. So inhale and exhale, keeping your balance on all of your foot, firmly planting, micro bend in your knees here. And exhale, bring your right hand to your left, outside edge of your left foot. And let's just do a little twist. So inhale, lengthen your spine, look up. Stacking your shoulders as much as you can, keeping your knees in alignment, little micro bend your knees, and then exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, folding forward from your hips. And then plant your left hand on the outside edge of your right foot and start to do a little twist. So nice long spine. Look up, stacking your shoulders, opening your chest. Keep breathing here, don't hold your breath. And exhale, release, look down, let your body dangle, inhale, halfway lift, engage your core, and then from here, lengthen, 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 keep your hands on your shins, and just come down as far as you can with a nice flat back. So we're keeping our 
back as flat as we can. The objective is to hamstring your hips. Your hips are pushing up. Your chest is coming towards your knees, right? And let your hands come down your shins or to the ground if you can maintain your nice flat back. So keep your collarbones wide, relax your jaw. Inhale, come out, and exhale, come a little deeper into the forward fold. You want to grab your big toes with your two front fingers and your thumb, encircling them. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, coming forward. Inhale, engaging that core, exhale, one more breath. You release your grip if you had it. Walk your hands up your shins again, bending your knees as much as you need to. And hold your breath. Coming back to mountain pose, back to Tadasana. And find yourself back at the top of your mat. So inhale your arms up, look up, reach up. Exhale, engage your core, bend your back towards your spine. Exhale all that air out. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Collarbones wide. Exhale, plant your hands beside your feet. Step back into push up position. Lower down to Jadaranga or your belly. Pin your elbows in. And then push up into cobra position. Collarbones wide, shoulders away from your ears. Chin is up. And exhale, roll your toes under. Push back into downward facing dog. Inhale, your left foot up. Bring your left leg between your hands, so planting your left foot firmly. Let's set up for warrior two. So rotate your back foot 90 degrees. Your front heel intersects the back inner arch of your outside foot, and then inhale, windmill your arms up. Keeping your front knee stacked over your ankle, spread your toes wide. Don't let your knee internally rotate. And breathe. So inhale, lengthen fingertip to fingertip, spine, and then exhale, finding your earth, finding ground, finding the power in the pose, looking over your left fingers, inhale, and exhale, one more breath, inhale, and then on your exhale, bringing your left elbow to your left knee, keeping your shoulder stuck, start to rotate your Right arm past your ear, so we have a nice long line right from the outside edge of my right foot up to my fingertips. Keep breathing here. One more breath. And then exhale. Start to look down towards your foot. I'm going to come into half moon pose, so I'm moving the weight into my front foot. I'm going to move my left hand in front of my left foot. And then I'm going to come up just with my hand on my hips. I'm going to flex my back foot, open up my chest. I'm just finding my balance here. I'm going to come up on your fingertips or use a block. Take a couple breaths here. So hold your breath, open your chest. Working towards stacking your shoulders, stacking your hips. And then exhale, your hand comes down. Feet come down. Inhale, halfway lift, big breath. And exhale, folding forward, letting it all go. And you inhale. Inhale all the way back up to standing. Look up, reach up, exhale. Hands to heart center. Let's do that on the other side. So inhale, your arms up, reach up, look up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift, legs and lengthen, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into plank. Lower down to chaturanga your belly. Pin your elbows, spread your fingers wide, come up into cobra, so collarbones wide, shoulder blades down. Exhale, roll your toes under, and inhale your right foot up, and bring your right foot between your hands to set up for warrior two on this side. So rotate your back foot so it's parallel to the outside edge of your mat, right knee, or right Heel aligns with the inside of your back arch. Stacking your knee over your ankle, opening up your hips, and windmill your arms up. So I'm rotating my right knee externally. I'm putting some pressure in the outside edge of my left foot. 
And inhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And exhale, finding ground, finding earth, reaching from fingertip to fingertip, engaging my core, looking over my right fingers. Nice soft focus, soft gaze, another breath here. And then exhale, coming down, right elbow on right knee. And then slowly tracking my left hand, keeping my shoulders nice and stacked, my chest open. And so I'm looking up under my left armpit, and I'm breathing here with a few breaths. Again, what are your hips doing? Imagine your spine is nice and long. You're not coming forward. You're nice and open. You're in alignment. One more breath here. And then on your exhale, start to unravel. So again, I'm going to come into half moon pose. So I'm starting to find my balance in this foot. Move my back foot up a few inches. And then start to open up here, finding your balance. And start to open, open, open. Stacking your shoulders. <laughs> finding your core. <laughs> and don't worry if it's tough. Keep breathing. One side will probably be different than the other. Don't hold your breath. If you can look up, that's wonderful. I'm not there today. So one more breath. And then let go. Match your feet. Hands to your hips. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, folding forward. Get all that air out. And angle your hands. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Come on back up to standing. Reach up, look up. Full breath and exhale, hands towards center. Great work, everyone. Okay, so let's come down to do some seated postures. So again, we'll get there through flow. If you want, you can meet me in the seated. It's up to you. Inhale and exhale, coming forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into plank. Lower down to Chaturanga or your belly. It's up to you. Baby Cobra, Cobra, Up Dog. Exhale, back. To downward facing dog. Just a couple breaths here. If you're in child's pose, just stay there. One more big full breath. The last big breath and the last downward dog of the day. And then exhale, come to your knees. And then walk your hands back to a kneeling position. So engage in your core here. Open your chest. Hands nice and lightly on your thighs. Let's come back, come up to a kneeling position and then roll your toes under. And so we're going to do a little toe stretch here. So keep your toes firmly planted and rounded. And then we're going to just come to a sit our butt down towards our heels. Keep your chest open. Shoulder blades down your back. Jaws relaxed. Chin tuck in. Still engaging our core. Your feet are probably starting to scream. That's okay. Stretching our feet. We use our feet so much and really give them such gratitude. So a nice stretch is good for them. So inhale, lengthen, and exhale, come forward. Plant your hands and just pat out your feet. So from here, come down to your right or left hip, keeping your left knee bent. Bring your right leg and place your right foot over the outside edge of your left knee. Flex your left foot. Inhale, squeeze your right knee in towards your chest. Lengthen your spine. Plant your right hand. Tent your right fingers behind you. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist like you're wringing out a towel. So from your torso to your shoulders. And then last but not least, your neck. Be very mindful. So opening your shoulders. Try to keep your right hip as close to the earth as possible. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, finding ground. Stretching a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. If you want to deepen this, you can pin your left elbow on your right knee. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more breath here. 
and then exhale, unravel, coming back to neutral. Let's come to cobbler's pose. So the soles of your feet come together. Inhale, lengthen, open your chest, grabbing your ankles. And then exhale, hinging from your hips. I move my grip to my, my toes now. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, coming forward from my hips. Using my elbows as a bit of leverage on the inside of my legs. Just to deepen the stretch a little bit. So my collarbones are wide, my shoulders are relaxed, my jaws relaxed. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. My chest comes a little deeper, closer to my feet. You want to open your feet like a book. Another little stretch for your feet, you could do that too. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, folding forward. One more breath like that, full big breath. And exhale, all the way, as far as you can. Release your feet, bring your knees together. Tuck your right foot in beside your butt, bending your right leg. And then bring your left foot planted on the outside edge of your right knee. Flex your right foot. Inhale, squeezing your left leg in towards your torso. Again, keeping your left hip moving towards the earth. So it might not be completely on the ground, but you want that energy of it pushing towards the ground. So inhale, lengthen and exhale. Bring your left hand behind you, tent your fingers. Give you a little more room in your twist. So inhale, lengthen and exhale. Start to twist, so your torso and then your shoulders, and then your neck. So it's like we're wringing out a towel, and inhale, find some length, and exhale, start to twist. Squeeze all that air out, engage your core. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Again, if you wanna deepen this, you can hook your right elbow and your left knee. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Full big breath. And then exhale, one more. Squeeze and twist. And then inhale, slowly unravel your neck, your shoulders, your torso. And then let's come to a staff, staff position. So finding your sits bones, straightening your legs, pushing your heels away from you, lengthening your spine, tucking your chin. Your hands come to the earth. Engage your core, long spine. Don't forget to breathe here. Inhale and exhale. Squeezing all the air out. One more breath. And then bring your feet about, you know, a couple of, a few inches, maybe a foot from your butt. And then let's start to roll back on our spine, one vertebrae at a time, engaging your core. Come back, come down, come down, come down. And then we're going to come into bridge pose. Little back bend here. So bringing your heels close to your butt, planting your feet firmly in the earth. Walk your shoulder blades down your back a little bit, planting the tops of your hands firmly. You should be able to maybe touch your heels, keeping your knees internally rotated. You don't want them touching each other, but you want to feel that pressure of your thighs coming towards each other. Inhale, big breath, and raise your hips up towards the sky. Again, we're creating a bridge here, so it's not just so much pushing your hips up. Think about elongating right out from the top of, right underneath your collarbones. You're creating an arch right through to your feet, really. So you're creating a nice, long, arched spine instead of compressing. Your knees are internally rotating, your feet are firmly planted. Keep breathing here, don't hold your breath. Your neck is always neutral. One more breath here. And then I like to come to my tiptoes and start to slowly unravel one vertebrae at a time. So lowering my spine down to the earth. The windshield wiper. Your knees one side to the other side. Inhale and exhale. <sighs> Letting that go. One more breath. And 
And then let's do that one more time. So firmly planting your feet, tucking your shoulder blades. Neck is nice and safe and neutral. Engage your quads. Engage your abs. And then inhale, your hips come up. Tucking your shoulder blades. You want to clasp your hands underneath. Interlace your fingers. And again, creating a nice long arch. Pushing your feet firmly into the earth. Filling up your lungs completely. Inhale and exhale. One more breath. And then exhale, release your grip if you have it. And then slowly let your hips come, or your vertebrae come down. Slowly swirl your hips towards the earth. And inhale your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. You may rock your feet side to side. You want to bring your head up and come into a little ball. Make a big squeeze here. And then exhale, release your head. Grab the outside edges of your feet and come into baby, baby, happy baby pose. So doing what you need to do here, maybe lengthen one leg than the other. Maybe bring the soles of your feet together. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. And then exhale, release that. Keeping your left knee in towards your chest. Lengthening your right leg, so flexing your right foot, pushing right out from the top of your head to your heel. Inhale, create some space, and exhale, squeezing that left knee towards your torso, keeping your shoulders down, relaxed. Inhale, filling up your lungs. Exhale, you can track your left knee up to the side of your body a little bit, find more space, and squeeze one more time. Big breath. And exhale, squeeze. And then let's release that and change sides. So flexing your left foot, pushing your left heel away from you. Inhale, your right knee towards your chest. Shoulder blades on the ground, neck is neutral. Chin is tucked, so inhale. And exhale, squeeze. Oh yeah, feel that. Again, you can track your right knee a little bit to the right and find a little more room and squeeze. Inhale, creating some space. And exhale, squeeze. So again, bring both knees in towards your chest. Spread your arms out in a T position. Tuck your shoulder blades, keeping your shoulders on the earth. Flex your feet. And then let your knees drop over to the left-hand side. So just as far down as you can go with your shoulders still resting on the earth. Your knees are up off the ground, that's okay. And inhale, lengthen, exhale, start to look towards your right fingertips. Take a couple breaths here. Deep breathing. Don't hold your breath. One more breath. And then exhale, come back to neutral, keeping your heels flexed, finding your neutral spine. Inhale. And exhale, your knees fall over to the right, keeping your feet flexed. Again, just as far as your shoulders stay on the earth. Reaching your fingertips wide, start to look over to your left fingertips. So inhale and exhale. If it's too much for your neck, you can always keep a neutral neck. It's up to you. Inhale and exhale. Do what's right for your body. It's your practice. And exhale. One more breath here. And then exhale, bring your knees back to neutral. Tuck your shoulder blades, bring your hands down towards your hips. And let's just plant both feet on the earth, soles together, tuck your tail, squeeze your glutes, and then come into a cobbler's pose with your knees. Neck is neutral, just let your knees flop open. Inhale, breathing into your lower belly, exhale, release that lower spine, inhale, big full breath and exhale, and next inhale, bring your knees together, and then stretch each leg out, preparing for savasana, so each heel comes out. Squeeze your glutes, tuck your shoulder blades, 
open your chest, flex and point your toes, finding a nice comfortable position where you can sit still for a few minutes, and then finding some space, finding a neutral energy where your breath is calm, and you can just breathe, be. Breathe, feeling your breath coming in through your nose and out through your nose. Just settle. And stay here for as long as you need to, letting the effects of your practice settle into your body. Make sure you have some gratitude for yourself for showing up and completing the practice. And when you're ready, you can come up to a seated posture. <sighs> Namaste, everyone. I'm so glad that you joined me today. Again, if you're interested, please make a donation to my wonderful teachers at Karma Teachers. All of the money goes to help raise scholarships to provide teacher training for people like me. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I'll have all the information below so you can uh, sign up whenever you want to. Take good care. Bye-bye.